This choker is choking me. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be drugstore haul. So let me go ahead and show you what I purchased if my, my choker gives me a break. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first thing I got from drugstore is the Wet n Wild this uh, foundation and I got the Creamy Base Base Cream which is my color I believe. Yeah, so this is what I got. I have heard so much good things about this and a bad thing about this. So let's see how it works for me. So this is what I got. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, talk about foundation that I purchased from the drugstore brand. And the next foundation I got is the Milani Concealer Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer in Warm Beige. So this is what I have. And uh, these are not new stuffs, but they, they came out a long time ago. I've been wanting to get one and see how it looks on me how it goes with my skin tone and all that so yeah this is what I got to see and see how I like it and the next foundation I have purchased is the matte poreless uh, matte plus poreless which is uh, the normal to oily skin tone I am a dry to combination skin so we'll see um, how this works and this is from the Mab Maybelline fit me foundation and my color is 2 30 right here. Next uh, foundation guys I got is from uh, LA Girl Pro Cover a Definition along with a foundation this right here. The first one I got is uh, the I believe it was a sand and which was this right here and after I got this in the mail I was like oh wow this is darker. So then luckily actually I ordered this one as well. This is the um, lighter version I mean the white one actually you could just uh, mix it in your foundation or concealer basically you have mistakenly purchased this kind of darker foundation you can lighten that lighten it up so uh, some reason I was just not satisfied uh, by that I guess um, so what I did was basically I uh, placed another order and I wanted to get another like a little lighter shade and to kind of mix and match with both of them so I placed another order and I placed an order of a t color tan and I got this in the mail it's also darker so let me give you swatches to show you what I mean so this is the tan I'm squirting it out this color tan right here and the next one is uh, it's very liquidy just so you know and this is the sand and I'm just gonna put a little bit because it goes very long with just a little bit goes along with so this is the tan I'm rubbing it in and this is the sand right here if this color are okay I mean on my hand I don't know if you can even tell this right here which is the a uh, sand sand looks way too tanner and the tan looks kind of warmer I kind of see I can maybe work with the sand but not with the tan man this is a darker color so if you can't tell like look at this color guys this is kind of darker so I don't know I mean on the website it looks kind of like lighter so I thought I can get away with uh, since summer's coming along and I, I do get tan so so I thought I can get away with uh, using sand or tan but they are kind of darker on me but anyway I'm glad that I do have this foundation right here uh, the white one and I can always uh, kind of play around with it and mix it to lighten up um, but with that being said I also purchased uh, LA girl Pro Face Matte Press Powder. So the reason why I uh, got this one since I have the foundation, I wanted to get this one so that I wanted to kind of see how this uh, will set on my face. I don't know if I got the right color, but it looks kind of too light for my complexion. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I wanted to stick with the LA Girl like a foundation. I do have concealer and I probably will do like a one brand makeup tutorial. This is why I want to kind of gather up the product. Once I have everything pretty much to work with my face, I will come up with the one brand tutorial. The next product I got is this two palette and the palette I got from LA Girl 
blush collection one I got is a spice right here and the next one I got is a glow so, so let me show you what glow looks like and the glow looks like this it has a pinky and then lighter pink and a darker like contour shade and then light um, a pearly looking shade so I oh it's very chalky guys Wow well I mean it looks all right when I got the swatch, but once I rub my finger, it looked kind of like very powdery. So let's see how this darker shade does. Well, it's not too bad. The darker shade is okay. So this is the darker shade. And the next one is a lighter uh, pink. See what I mean? Like it's kind of choppy and chalky. So yeah, it's just, it's very powdery. Next one I have here is the darker pink. Wow, this is dark. Look at this. That is dark color. So yeah, this is the glow kit right here. The next one I have is a spice. The spice has like muted, I would say like a tan girl can get away with this one because it has like that uh, mauvey darker the pink and then also has a lighter pink right here and then for contour it's a darker contour uh, deeper color and then this also glow and a highlight right here this is the highlight this is the contour is very deep and this right here is the kind of mauvey light pink shade and this right here is more like a fuchsia I like that color for lipstick though <laughs> Um, and then this is blush darker right here. So this is the swatches right here. I'm kind of excited to mix and match with both of the palette. And they were like a $6.95 or something like that at um, like Walmart website. So the next so product I'm very, very excited to show you. I was very surprised after I purchased this one. This is from the Physician Formula. And actually, I have never thought that I would like this formula or this uh quad as much as I think. I don't like the packaging because this does, oh, I think I broke it. Um, this does not go all the way down as you can hear that click. It just bends down a little bit but doesn't uh, go all the way down so it just, I don't, I'm not very fan with this uh, packaging but I love the product. The darker shade and the lighter tanner like setting powder kind of color but I love using this too for my contour and as you can see this is what I excuse my hot flush ear oh, excuse that <laughs> but uh, yeah this is what I contour with today and I actually do like it a lot um, this two color and this is actually very good for the lighter complex and you know for brown skin as well and this one is called highlight and contour palette bronze and boosting matte sculpting palette so this is what it looks like and I picked up mine one from Kroger and some of you are probably not familiar with Kroger Kroger is kind of like a Delon's uh, if you have Delon's or Kroger they're the same company and it's more like a Walmart kind of brand so yeah that's where I picked up mine because I was doing my groceries and I was browsing through the aisle and I saw a makeup aisle and of course I had to stop and check it out what's going on with their makeup so that's where I found mine so the so. next product I want to talk about is a Milani right here and I just picked this one up from uh, Walgreens and this is the color and these this one is a color one it's the sunlight uh, right here and this reminds me of a lot of like uh, Bobbi Brown have their own kind of looks like this kind of a uh, highlight and you can also like go ahead and swirl your finger or brush and come up with this highlight right here this right here looks like um, curly highlight or you can use individual of these three right here I'm gonna go ahead and give you a swatch on the first one right here is the white look at this shimmer the second one is the bronzy one is right here it's kinda of powdery because I picked up a lot but it's really beautiful and the last one is in the corner curly color this right here and if you put it together all and this is what it looks like 
So yeah. I think it's beautiful for a drugstore brand and for like what $7.99 something like that. I might be wrong. I will have that down here how much it is. This is yeah really good. So the next product I want to talk about is also very much favorite of mine since it's a drugstore brand and they are Wet n Wild and this two baby right here is very hard to find but if you do get around it please pick it up because you will not regret it. These are really nice. It's only $4.99. Sometimes Walgreens do have their buy one get one half off or you know free whatever. So yeah this is the Mega Glow Crown of My Canopy and this is the Mega Glow Highlight Mega Glow. This is the first one. Very creamy and one swatch and very pigmented. So this is the one right here. And I love the packaging. It's so beautiful because it has that very pretty like a flower right here. It's really awesome. And this one right here is more rosy tone for $4.99. Wow guys look at this. Do you see that? Oh my god. I really want to play with that one more time. As all you see I don't have too much uh, highlight but I do want to put this on oh wow do you see that oh wow awesome all right I do also want to play with this uh, Milani I, this is why I got this brush out because I want to play with this I'm gonna go ahead and throw my brush in it and it's very powdery <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on this cheek right here and it could be really pretty like a blush topper. Wow. Do you see that? It is a highlight year, guys. I'm telling you, this year highlight are everywhere. Literally, you talk about any brand, they're coming up with the highlights. Like everywhere it's glowing. Glowing product are everywhere. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this white shade in a different small brush and it's just a blending brush but I'm going to go ahead and grab this brush and put it just to my nose right here, tip of my nose. Oh wow, look at this. Do you guys see this? The next product now I want to go ahead and talk about guys. I don't know if this is going to be considered as a store brand. But since it's a cheaper, I mean it's not really cheap. It's affordable and comfortable to pay for you know so but this is the ColourPop and the ColourPop came up with this new um, this product right here is a $15 and this is their knockout right here and they just uh, launched this one and I just got around to it and I only picked up this uh, quad right here as probably saw my last haul that I did I picked up that bronzy with the you know highlight they had they came up with I loved their packaging I loved the way they did their darker color and the highlight so this is why I have my hopes up for this palette as well since this has a blush and the highlight topper or you could do highlight so this is the blush and that's what I have on and that's also this color I put it on my lid all I did was just um, you know some fluffy brush I swirl it and then I went all over my eyelid and that's all I did and this highlight color right here I just put it under my eyebrow and inner corner right here yeah so I think this uh, palette is going to be very versatile because I love this curly blush right here and I love highlight right here so let me give you a swatch Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video and uh, what I purchased uh, from my uh, drugstore. So if you guys do like this kind of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and say bye. You guys stay safe and healthy. I will catch you on my next video. Mwah.